he's pretty like warm and like um easy going with everybody. You know? um, it was shy energy um, from the first <laughs> person that I ever had with him. <laughs> he laid a blessing on me. I knew the minute I saw him that he was somebody I wanted to work with. Yeah, uh, and he from like what's the storyteller? Yeah, what's the yeah, last time? Man, I oh, love that record. Right. Hell yeah. yeah, I love yeah, that yeah. record, bro. That's love. I love that shit. I'm listening to it and like the beat, I'm just like, it, it got me, it got me in my, it got me in my zone, bro. Yeah. So. I am Shai Tulani. I I make soul hop music. I'm a um soul hop is a genre that I made up because my music is just kind of whatever feels good to me and I never really conform to a uh, one genre. So I kind of fuse them all, and I just call them so hot, very soulful music, um, and I like to inspire through music. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. I, Please explain the shy Tulani wardrobe. Yes. You're infamous for your hat. Thank you. You have to break down this this category of clothing. So we have the loafers. Always, always loafers. I never wear gym shoes unless I'm going running or actually working out. So anytime you see me, I probably have loafers on or um, some kind of dress shoes. These are pants. I don't know what brand of pants these are. I don't. I'm not into name brands. But if they look cool and they're not necessarily tight or skinny jeans, but I don't like baggy either. So we got a little, you know, some of that. And you know, the, the dashiki. You gotta stretch it out. You know. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I got this one new. I, this it was. This was like 87th in Stony Island. What's that? 87th in Stony Island. Yeah, we got we got these at 87. So, you know, they be having some real fly African stores in the hood. So, I be going there. Also, a lot of my um, my gear I get straight from Kenya. So, those ones, this one is from 87th and Stony Island uh, for those of people watching in Chicago. So, you can guys, you guys can grab some just like this if you want to. And then some of my other stuff is straight from Kenya. So, uh, um, it's a big part of who I am. I believe in honesty and music. Um, I believe in honesty in everything that you do, but especially if you're an artist in your craft. Um, at least there's, I guess there's two, two different approaches. There's art, there's the artists that write from a different perspective that's not theirs, but I'm one that writes from my own. Um, and this is just a, just as much as a part of me as um, as Chicago is, you know, because even though I was born in Kenya, I was raised in the states. So America is also. A big part of who I am, which is why not all of my so I'm not not all of my songs are like Afrobeat. You know what I mean? Um, I infuse all of who I am into my craft, and I like to give all honesty. Like this is this is me. This is who I am. I'm not um, I'm not, I'm not giving you anything else but um, what is Tulani and his experiences and his background. And I just take pride in uh, being African because it's something that I wasn't proud of for a long time. And I learned to be proud of it and um, use it to inspire others. The hat, the infamous hat, everybody asks me um, what, what's with the hat. There's no symbolism to it, really. I just like the way it looks on my head. I, I have a full front, like, hair, you know, I, I'm not bald. Some people be thinking I'm bald, I'm not bald. Young Fedora wearing African, you know I'll be back again. Catch me in my safe place, no backstabbing here. I was at H and M in Orland Park one day in 2012. I do remember the day. <laughs> uh, I was in Orland Park, um, and um, we were just we were too broke to buy anything. I was 18, and we was just playing around. And I tried on a hat, uh, and I was like, "Hey, look at these!" Like y'all, you know, laughing like, "Look at me!" And then I turned around and looked in the mirror. I'm like, "Oh, this looks good." And I bought it because it was only 12 dollars. So. 
Yeah, that was my first door. Fedora was only twelve dollars. They get this. They, they seem to get more expensive the more I like them. Like the more I like fedoras, the more expensive they seem to get. I'm just, they're not that expensive, but <clears throat> I've not found another twelve dollar fedora that's of quality. <laughs> I say that. <laughs> Man, Bomba. They're my favorite people in the world. Um, you know, they're like they're they are my family. I don't say they're like my family. They are my family. Man, Bomba just started this year. Um, I was I was looking for a band before the Bomba. I was um I was I was like just playing with musicians from um from like gig to gig. I was like you know just paying uh, you know musicians to like uh, play behind me or whatever from whatever for whatever big gigs. And so um, uh, I had been some of the Bomba I've known for some long time, and some people some people are really most of them I really knew. But I, I was trying to put together a show for my first headliner show at AMFM, and I was like kind of nervous. I was like, um, you know, I didn't know how to, I, I knew how to reach out to people, but it was like I, I just wanted to, you know, get the really, really, I wanted to get the best group of musicians together to, to create the best um, possible um, show for people that I possibly could. And the show, I named my first headliner show the Bomba. Bomba means cool in Swahili or dope. Uh, I am Ali, the guitar player for Chai Tulani. I joined Chai and La Bamba, I want to say four months ago, three or four months ago. Maybe more. I don't quite remember, but recently. I'm Joshua Cole. Right used to be in my book. Music director, keyboard player. You my nephew. You my nephew. I never saw an artist give that much energy and you were at the top of the He you thought that, that we was playing we was playing Madison Square Garden that day. Um, the first day that's when the first day I met him was our first one. Right? So he came in so shy and humble. But the moment um we started playing, he immediately turned into someone that I knew was going to be Great My name is Dan Griffin. <laughs> oh. I'm saxophone. Uh, I've been playing for the last 10 years. Uh, well, Shai Talani, I saw him first perform at Tiff Fest and he laid a blessing on me. I knew the minute I saw him that he was somebody I wanted to work with and the people who surrounded amongst him were going to make me better. And so, um, technically, my, my, uh, my, the band name is Shai Talani and the Cool or Shai Talani and the Dope have whatever one you like to use but um when we played that show we did such a good job that i just asked everybody like you know how would you guys feel about just being a band on stage he's a performer he lets all the energy out um but to me off stage also that present i feel like he's always present on and off stage on stage i believe he's as free as he wants to be um, I believe his spirit is free, um, his mind is free, that he believes that at that point anything is possible. Off stage, I just think he's more chill, laid back, he's more normal at that point, more laid back, chill, um, he's hilarious, he's really funny. So, you know, so I believe the funniness and the humor comes back, you know, when you get off stage. Of course he's not performing in like everyday life. But he's he's very present. He's very engaged with everything. So mm -hmm. yeah, he's dope. <laughs> Talani, he really is invested in everything that he do for his music. He sits down. He we text us, even at night. We text each other two three o'clock at night just because we care so much about the music and care so much about the production part of it. Um, my experience has been positive. We've done. A lot of big shows from Metro to Shubas, which we're doing right now. We've done many weekly shows, and it's just been really good learning the music, um, becoming tight as a unit within the band, and performing. And Chai's got really good music, so that's been a plus as well, performing good music. So To be known, I think I'm going to give, I could give two. Um, two explanations of what it's like to, what it means to be known no one to me at least for me personally like um there's two there's the known of people just know your name a lot like you know anybody can really be known i think that's it that's the easy thing to do is like be known you know you know um 
they hear the name and it you know they they've heard stories or they've seen pictures or they've seen you do this then the the first definition i think for most artists for me is like honestly to be known is when when people actually know your content not just who you are but your content and what you put out into the world now that is a good known to me i mean the way things are going who knows you know chai i mean i saw on his uh i don't know if it was soundcloud or something but he had like a hundred thousand listens on one of his songs so if that rate keeps going who knows but it seems like it's just upward mobility Rose, i want the legacy to be uh everything that i represent which is resilient which is god first love resilience never giving up and just inspiring i just want to inspire the world and progress the world i just want to allow others to see god through me so they can find god within themselves Oh, 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 oh,